What's going on guys, uh, Rick Rock here and today is just a little old video that I've been that that it has been in my vault for quite a while and of course it's just a raid mission with a couple friends that decided to help me out with this quest I had from the future war coat which was kind of stupid um, it took me quite a while to beat well not the raid but the whole quest and to and to get this quest is real simple and I will tell you guys how to do it uh, when the first mission comes out for each and every brand new day for the daily um, if you manage to actually play the one where you have to go inside the water glass and find three goals there's real there uh, they're real simple real simple and easy to find and I, I will post another video about it how to find them and you have to go through the whole mission of course um, but once you beat that one Hydra that taken Hydra um, do, and you find his body but don't scan it you just have to keep on going and there's gonna be a third ghost like right below so it's kind of like a suicide jump but it's but it's a possible jump to find the last ghost so once you go in there um, there should be like a little gateway and a bunch of my friends told me that supposedly that there's like a secret hidden chest on that spot but it never happened but I'm guessing they finally did put it so you have to go inside and there's a bunch of taking that spawns in up the ass and it is unbelievable so when I did that one I, I, I managed to do it by myself but it took me quite a while so I highly suggest you have like a like two good like you know like two good friends that could actually help you out and beat it and and then right and then like right, uh, right, uh, right after you beat it you manage to um, go inside a doorway and there's a chest and you will find a ghost and once you find the whole things from that chest yeah you have to go to the future war coat and me being a dumbass I almost died by that fucking thing but uh, you manage to find the things from that chest and you bring it to the future war code and she will give you like a little like some kind of shit I really don't remember but you have to wait until that until the uh, until that one mission uh, started again so I so so for me I pretty much waited I'll say like two or three weeks and I and then right after the whole thing was done I managed to get a quest from the future war code um, the quest is real simple. It's really not that hard, but to but you do have to play the Vault of Glass. It really doesn't matter if you play it in normal or in hard mode, unless you get it done. So we decided to play it in normal mode. We got it finished, and once we beat it, they gave me this thing called the Eye of the Eye of something. And once we beat it, you have to dismantle it. Well, not dismantle it, but use it. And you will get another quest from the future war code. You go back to her and she will give you the stinks. And the most pain in the ass to do. And it took me quite a while. And thank God for my little brother for telling me this part. Um, that you had to go do that one mission from the from the last mission from the regular story. But Minotaurs were spawning in up the ass. And they kept spawning in and spawning in and spawning in. And I told my brother, like, what the hell is going on? So I asked one of my good friends, um, uh, there he is, Toxic HXC Scopes. He's a very, very good friend of mine, and I've asked him to actually help me out with that one quest, which he did, and we managed to beat him. And once you beat it, um, you're going to get that post rifle called No Time to Explain. It's really good. I messed with it in Crucible. And it's pretty decent. It's the same as the Stranger's Rifle, but much better perks. And I was kind of bummed out when the Stranger's Rifle, they did not they did not even manage to at least boost it up a little bit. And, but nah, but, but it's like whatever. But the uh, Pulse Rifle with the, the No Time to Expand is real good. I actually did enjoy it a lot when I, when I actually managed to get it out and purchase it. And here I'm just dismounting old weapons because I need a mode of lights. 
because I'm always needing a lot of shit with me. But uh, other than that, um, yes, like so. So this video is the first video that I'm posting up with a live, with my live voice in it, and I could tell if I manage to actually see this video and hear myself talk, I'm gonna sound like a fucking dumbass. But hey, I really don't care. So guys, um, we managed to beat the whole raid. Maybe I've, I will say less than an hour or like an hour and a half because we had uh, the new raid weapons, uh, the rocket launchers. I had the touch of malice, so we fucking demolished them like maybe 10 minutes, I, I think. So yeah, guys, um, if you guys need any help feel free to send me a friend request as Rick Rock or what or or my good friend uh, toxic HXC scopes uh, we have no problem into helping you guys out whatsoever and if you guys need help in raids nightfalls quests mission strikes whatever you guys need uh, feel free to send us feel free to send us a friend request we have no problem in giving you guys a hand. Um, I've read in forums and and a bunch of stupid things like like on the whole like on the whole communities that they have on the PS4 that a bunch of people will be sending out things like oh it must be it must be 300 plus light level and you have to know what to do or not get kicked and it's pure bullshit because um i was trying to help out one I, I i was trying to help out one uh one of my brothers and as a minute he joined the raid um they kicked him up because he had 298 light level i was, I was, I was like that's just fucking stupid man real fucking stupid so if you actually send me a friend request and just start and just start um saying stupid shit like that um, don't uh, one do uh, one do not even bother. Two, I will report you, and three, I will find a way to actually um, ban you as well. And I have people that have done that, and it was pure bullshit. And it was pure bullshit when my brother was trying to do the new raid for the first time, and he got kicked out because he joined a, a raid group that had a three hundred that need a 300 plus experience level that knows what to do and, and my brother was fresh to it and that's just pure total bullshit so I, so from there on I managed to actually get uh, get uh, gave him a hand he didn't find much he found like a weapon and one raid piece of gear which is a start and um, so yeah guys so I'm new to the YouTube channel. I have posted a couple of uh, videos up by, you know, just uh, just by playing raids. Like there's two raid videos. Uh, we two maps call out me and my good friend Scopes, and we have played a and I have played a couple of Crucible matches, like decent ones. They're not like the best, and um, you know, we did lost here and there. Uh, but other than that, feel free to send me a friend request. I have no problem to give you guys a hand with the raids, nightfalls, and that's the same with my friend. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, feel free to subscribe. It will mean the world to me. I will get a massive boner. Uh, like the video, comment, share, whatever you guys want to do. Go for it. Leave gay messages, hate messages. I really don't give a shit. But if you guys leave hate messages, but like some nasty comments, I, I'm just going to block you. So, oh, and one more thing. For each subscriber I get on my YouTube channel, I will donate money to charity. And will dye my hair to a random ass color. Um, you, uh, you guys will pick. I really don't matter. So, subscribe guys. It will mean a lot to me if you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel like comment whatever you guys want to do and i will see you guys later and enjoy the last final battle against this dude and like i said we beat him maybe like in less than an hour <laughs> so peace guys remember subscribe like whatever you guys want to do i will see you guys later and post more videos up
Adiós.